Hi guys, it's Monty Ace, and I'm going to start off this video with uh, one of, uh, well, ma most people's favorite elite class, I believe, which is the tank hunter. It's the one that I enjoy the most, even though it's not the one I get the most kills with. It's that every kill I get with this one just feels more satisfying than most other elites. But uh, yeah, I'll show you some. Uh, flame Trooper gameplay as well, and I had some great moments at Fort Devoe. Now, shooting with this uh, weapon on non-intended targets, such as infantry and sometimes planes, can be rather challenging. One of the things that you will see in at least one of the kills here, I think this is the one. Yeah, notice how I didn't actually put my aim directly on target. He was going to the left of my screen, so I put the aim slightly left of him in order to uh, calculate for the bullet's trajectory to hit the target as he was quite far away. Now, most people are probably familiar with the term leading. That's what that kind of aim technique is called, and I've made plenty of tutorials about that, uh, even a few in this game, I might add. So quickly switching to the sort of shotgun when uh, enemies get close up and personal. And if you do pick up this elite class, don't forget to use the spotting binoculars on 3. I'm, I'm not sure what it's on console, but on PC it's key 3 by default. And while looking through it, the moment you see an important target, you hit uh, Q on PC. That's the default spotting key. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll highlight that target for the rest of your team. And well, also for yourself. Very useful, especially through smoke. So during the stream while I recorded this, uh, some guys were asking me if I played the game Slime Rancher. No, I haven't. I don't even know what game it is, but obviously it is a very popular game. Uh, I don't know if it's worth checking out. But uh, at the time of recording this, I still haven't. I'm just hearing my own voice here as I'm uh, responding to you guys in uh, the stream. And yes, in all honesty, I actually thought somebody was trying to troll me, but apparently this is a very popular game. So now, one of the things that people have been asking me is why I'm not using the light anti-tank grenade instead of the incendiary in most situations. And I'm going to show you a moment here that I think is uh, quite telling because it is when you go up against a tank that, well, obviously people think that the light and the tank grenade would be a better choice, but that isn't always the case. Now, you see, the incendiary grenade will burn people as they get out of the tank and it will deny some repair for a short period of time. And the fact that the incendiary, for the most part, is better against infantry, those things combined makes it my choice. Not to say that the light and the tank grenade is bad in any way, and it also has many advantages. Oh, that's why you have the incendiary grenade against vehicles. So yeah, that's why I have the incendiary, or parts of why. Now here is one of the reasons why I use the limpage charge against people that are sneaky. Of course, some people might argue that I could just as well shoot him, but uh, yeah, it's not because I'm an addict or anything. So now, for the longest time, I didn't really like this elite kit, and it's mainly because it's rather slow, and its range is very, very limited. Now here is one of the situations where I can kite in and out of cover, and I mostly, basically every time I go back and forth here, I get healing, and that is essential. Now if I was consistently resupplied here, that would be even better, because then I could keep spamming those three grenades that I have, but uh, yeah, the Vex did a pretty good job in most of these situations. As you can see, uh, the Vex actually does a little bit of extra damage even after you, sh you use it, so the splash damage lasts for a while. And uh, this is one of the ways that I get quite a number of kills here in some of these little peaks.
Yeah, this is definitely the time when the medical crate or the, yeah, the big box is better than the pouches. Normally I go with the pouches when I'm a medic myself. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that I didn't have a consistent uh, ammo supply, but um, yeah, another thing that you might be wondering, at close range, what is better, the flame trooper or the sentry? Well, you'll see just in a moment here. Now, I think maybe there are some unfairness in this situation, but uh, anyway, I wouldn't want to go up against uh, the flame trooper at close range with any other elite class. Maybe the Villa Perosa, who knows. Alright, so to be fair, he was uh, at only half HP, and I took a little bit of damage from a grenade just before I engaged him, but uh, still, I think that uh, that is the typical situation where the Flame Trooper have a massive advantage. Uh, of course, at range, the things would be different. So for each peak here, I'm starting to take more and more risks. I uh, stay longer and longer within line of sight of the enemy's fire. And as you can see here, I went down to 5 HP and one grenade that would have actually killed me. But yeah, for the intensity, I did start taking more and more risks here as I tried to clear the way for my teams to get to the D flag. I'm at the brink all the time. Oh, 80 rocket gun. He got me. So yeah, for the last part of the video, I'm going to show you something that people are asking about every once in a while. And that is for some of these longer runs when I move around uh, across the map and do some flanking and all that. And uh, here is one of those situations. I want to get myself and hopefully uh, provide a spawn on the D flag. And uh, yeah, once I get the D flag, of course, I want to go to the next flag, but we'll see how that goes. So I want to say big thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you stay to the end. Uh, hit the love button and uh, tell me what you think in the comment section. I hope I will see you again in the live stream on my main channel. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Ammo right there! Take that ammunition! Thank you, Tombs. Appreciate it. Take the ammo. I'm a little bit unfamiliar with that currency. But I do appreciate it. Some ammo. Grab it. We have taken objective dump. For E, for the risk. Oh my goodness! That's a lot of people. People. Oh, uh, Putin's kleptocracy. It, it, yeah, kleptocracy and klep the guys who are the kleptocracy. <laughs> We have 
No. 